I've been getting a little frustrated trying to figure out the best way to mount the motor controller. Uh, I figured I would have it right on top of the uh, battery pack, something like that. But the problem is that um, this part of the plate is directly against the battery. So I can't just like drill holes through there and, and put a bolt on the other side. I thought maybe I could drill through the uh, angle iron up here, but you know, where the holes lay out, it's kind of a mess. That's not gonna work great. And then the cool thing happened. I realized that one of these brackets that's used in the Nissan Leaf battery pack anyways, actually, by chance, um, happens to line up close enough with the holes on here that I could actually use this, weld it in place, and then have that bolt down into there. So what I have to do is just make sure that uh, I get those lined up, clamp them down in place, and then that gives me the four mounting points for the motor controller. There we go, that's what the completed battery plate and mounting points for the controller looks like. Now I should paint it. Here I have a old power disconnect. It's just a, a key and a plunger that activates a big oversized switch. So I already put two heavy duty cables on here and this is gonna be mounted down low and the power cords are gonna come up through this hole here where it'll connect to everything else. Uh, that is just bare metal edge. So I've got a grommet that I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna use to cover the edge of that right now. These are cell modules from a Nissan LEAF electric car. I used uh, part of the metal that originally was used to hold it in the car, welded some other parts onto it to make a mounting plate, ran some quarter 20 threaded rod through there. Um, each of these modules then has a, uh, it's a steel spacer that goes in here because there's a little bit of a ridge here. This helps the whole thing kind of keep its shape. So all I have to do is put some of these on. And then the next cell module goes on top. Keeping in mind we've got red connections and black connections. They need to alternate uh, because I've already got the bus bars that uh, are mounted. They, they've got this nice uh, insulation cover and they'll snap on there. So I do have to make sure to alternate red and black. So black is there, this time red will be on the left. Like that. Red, 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 alternating. I've got my six Nissan Leaf cells stacked together. They're screwed down with these nuts on the threaded rod going through the corners. Now what I need to do is put bus bars on. Uh, first, cons uh, checking that I have alternating uh, black and red connectors, positive and negative. And then I've got this, which came out of the original Nissan LEAF. Um, it is the bus bars to connect the cells and a plastic piece to hold it all together and all the little wires for the BMS. But this is too many. I only need for six. So what I'm going to do here is count one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to cut right across here um, to get rid of the parts I don't need. So now I got room for one, two, three, four, five, six. And come to think of this, I'm not going to use a real BMS with this project. So I think I'm just gonna pull all these wires out of here so I don't have to worry about accidental shorts. So there's all that wiring I'm not going to use. And then I'm just gonna use this as a insulative cover and a bus bar holder. And then I just need to run in and snug down each of these fasteners.
47.8 volts, so it's uh, more or less a 48 volt battery pack. I do have some of the cover material that should snap over there. Unfortunately, this is designed for a stack of cells going this way, going vertical like that. It's just one part of the Nissan Leaf pack, and unfortunately, I don't have that cover anymore, so I'll probably just cover it with something else. Now, the other interesting thing about this project is that this side is not up. In fact, right now, this whole thing is sitting upside down, so I'm gonna see if I can carefully flip this over. This is the top. This is gonna be even with the shoulder of the tractor. This is gonna hang down inside the front battery box. So here's our Nissan Leaf battery pack, roughly 48 volts, and it is hanging down from this plate that I welded and modified so that it will hang in the tractor, and the motor controller goes on top of that. The controller will go right here. Basically like that. This looks weird on video, but those are nowhere near the terminals, just so you know. 